All right, Matt, this is one of those fights that's going to definitely fly under the radar for a lot of people. We have Mock Andre Barrio taking on Oscar Piata. It's a couple of guys on some bad losing streaks. I mean, for Mark Andre Barrio, he comes into the UFC with a head of steam. He's 11 1, plenty of finishes, TKO champion. And then he comes in and he loses one to Andrew Aldierte Sanchez. All right, that's going to happen. Then he takes on Christoph Jocko, loses by split decision in Canada. If I'm not mistaken, that one was UFC 240. Then he took on Junyun Park in his last one, loses the decision there. For Oscar Piotti, comes in, wins two in a row, Jonathan Wilson, and then he gets a win and knocks out Tim Williams. This is a guy that a lot of people were excited for when he came into the UFC, former Cage Warriors champ, just the one time. But then he loses three in a row, and it's not like Mark andre Barrios losses. Kind of talk us through Oscar Piotta because he was a really hyped prospect, but he's taken on some tough tests in his last three outings and has not gotten the win. What can what do you make of this fight so far? Well, the reason it's flying under the radar is because the loser's going to get cut. And it's probably not going to be a very good fight in the first place, so I don't know why many people would be all that excited for this. It was two guys who were quite hyped up entering the UFC, but neither guy's panned out nearly as much as we thought they would. Um, Marco Andre Barrio fights at a very labored pace throughout a fight. He never really has this, like, kill switch. He just kind of always moves forward, but he eats a lot of damage when he moves forward, and that's a big problem. And for Oscar Piotta, we've seen kind of in spurts, at least. In a few fights, he has had some success. Uh, the Joe Mearshart fight, he got off to a really good start, was able to drop Mearshart and hurt him. He just got tired was the problem. So this fight comes down to cardio, I think, more than anything, because if Piotta can just start landing at will on uh, Marco Andre Barrio, He's going to have good success because I think he'll do enough damage to kind of negate the cardio advantage that Barrio does have. But the problem is, what Oscar Peyote are we going to get? Uh, the one we've seen through his last three fights. Now, the Hidalgo Vieira fight's a little bit different just because he just kind of went out there, ragdolled him, took him down, and choked him out. And that's no big deal. That's going to happen. Hidalgo Vieira going to help Hidalgo Vieira. But uh, I really don't know what we're going to get from either guy. It's very much a coin flip. And you do have to think that uh, the loser's probably going to get cut. I'm sort of siding with Toyota just because he has a higher chance of getting a finish in this fight, but I, I'm not all that confident with that pick. I was kind of surprised when I saw these odds. And again, you take it for what it's worth. Oscar Piotta has two wins in the UFC against guys that are no longer in the UFC, whereas Mark andre Barrio, he's taken on some good competition as well, maybe not at the same level as Piotta because Gerald Mearshart in that fight, you're right. Oscar Piotta's striking looked like it could have been on point early. He hurt Mearshart, but Mearshart came back and got the win because Piotta more or less tired himself out, and he was susceptible on the ground. Vieira is one of the best 185ers out there that you've never heard of. You have to watch out for that guy. I know he's an older guy, but in terms of fight years, he's not quite there yet with MMA. You're going to see a lot more of him. But in Oscar Piotta's last outing against Punaheli Soriano, that was kind of the final nail in the coffin for me because he got finished so early by the striking of such a good power puncher in Punaheli Soriano. So cardio is a question. Striking's not really a question, but it's all right, but it's not great. It's not that world-class level. Again, he's in the UFC, so you can't take too much away from him. And his grappling's pretty good, but for Marc-Andre Berrio, you know he's going to be in there, and he's just going to pressure, pressure, pressure. He almost beat Christoph Jocko, kind of negated the striking of a guy like Jocko, who's coming off a layoff. But in this fight, I was surprised because of the odds. The odds favoring um, Christoph, or not Christoph Jaco, Oscar Piotta. He's about a minus 135 favorite. Barrio coming in plus 110 underdog. Overwhelming majority over on Tapology are picking Piotta to get the win by decision. Do you see it that way? Because I'm going to say straight up, I don't. I think for Marc Andre Barrio to just pressure, pressure, pressure. And yes, so far in the UFC, he's fought at somewhat a labored pace. And you made fun of my Tito Ortiz analogy with the Roxanne Montefiore fight because. There's normally a cruising altitude for a lot of these fighters where we say they get on their bike and they fight at that pace for the whole fight. Kind of like an Ian Heinish. Maybe not in his last fight against Mearshare, but normally he just keeps on cruising the whole way through the fight. And he doesn't have a big drop off. He's like a lithium battery. But for Marc Andre Berrio, he's an old C cell and it just goes and that's it. But he can keep it level as well. Terrible analogies, I know. But for Marc Andre Berrio, it's kind of labored. It's not really what you want, but it gets the job done, and that's how I see him winning this fight. What do you think on this one? I mean, maybe. Again, either guy could win this fight. It's two guys who haven't really shown all that much positive in the UFC, especially as of late. So I just think Piotr has enough of a striking advantage that he might be able to put Barrio away. 
But when Barry is just kind of recklessly crashing forward, going for his, and again, it's not really like he's throwing combinations. He's just throwing like single shot, move forward, single shot, move forward. He's not like we'll, we'll be talking about later. Like Shane Burgos, when he throws one punch, there's seven other ones coming behind it. Barry is very much one, two, and then wait, one, two, and then wait. And if Peota can catch him coming in, I think he can hit him with some big shots. I'm not going to predict a finish by any means, but I do think Peota's going to get the win. Matt, I'm going to be going with the Canadian mock on today. Berio, I got burned on a Quebecer who was an underdog last week and a Charles Jordan. You're going to go with Oscar Piotto. We're really looking forward to it. It is a very sneaky fight night card, so you're not going to want to miss the rest of the predictions. An extended look at Blades and Volkov. Matt, as we always say, with fight night picks, Ooh, let's get, get into it. it.